Now to a story only on Fox 5. Tonight we go inside the Fairfax County Juvenile Detention Center where teens at the center of several high profile crimes are being held. Now staff and volunteers are turning to alternative therapy to help the youngest repeat offenders. Fox 5's Tisha Lewis is here with this story. Hey Tisha. Hi there Jim. Hi Sarah. Now while more than half of those detained at the Fairfax County Juvenile Detention Center go on to become success stories, the remaining do not and ultimately return to the court system as adult criminals. The detention center is exploring new ways to impact and change Northern Virginia's youngest offenders. How did I end up here? Just making mistakes. Bad decision making, poor choices. I guess I was hanging with the wrong crowd of people. 18 year olds Anthony, Adam, and Gianni are all at a crossroads here inside the Fairfax County Juvenile Detention Center, and they know it. Because I'm 18 now, and I don't want to get out there and do the same thing. I feel like this has helped me a lot turn my like turn my thinking pattern around. The teenage boys are all facing criminal charges or sentencing. Their futures remain in limbo. But a new therapy dog program at the juvenile detention center is hoping to help shape it for the better. Definitely accountability, uh, integrity. I've learned to like do stuff. I learned to do good things even though people aren't really watching. It brings me some peace to be able to play with them, interact with them, pet them. They can do some tricks. I might do something with animals. Looking at how we handle our uh, discipline practices um, is one side of it, but the other side of that coin is what are the things that we can start to pick up on that we can intervene early, that we can, you know, maybe suggest, um, you know, some interventions much earlier before they ever even get in real trouble. The nice thing about dogs is they don't pass judgment. Sunny Madsen started canine caring angels eight years ago. It's a proven fact that even touching a dog will calm a person, it releases endorphins, and so it's an all around positive experience. An encounter rarely captured. I think the biggest misconception is people think that a detention center is probably like a jail. Um, maybe what you've seen in movies. Principal Eric Shaver says this is the first time TV cameras were granted access inside the county's juvenile detention center. Shaver also admits, despite the best efforts happening here, you know, unfortunately, there are some not so positive outcomes, and uh, we just hope that while we have them here, we have a captive audience. <laughs> While the detention center is exploring options to offer students training focused on animal assisted therapy. Two of the teens we interviewed just received their GED at the center.